Now we have more on the new federal funding for California's high speed rail. The Biden administration has announced billions of dollars in federal funds for California's ongoing high speed rail project. Capital correspondent Aton Wallace shares what this means for the project's timeline, and he has reaction from state leaders on both sides of the aisle. You're looking at the future of high-speed rail in California, a project that has been under construction and development for several years now, and one that eventually seeks to connect Southern California to Northern California. And now the project is getting a boost in the form of a three-plus billion dollar federal investment from the Biden administration. California leaders, including former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, responding to the news on this Zoom call. This massive federal investment takes us one step closer uh, to high-speed rail as a reality. This is a game changer. A game changer, says Fresno Congressman Jim Costa, noting the latest investment will help create and maintain thousands of California construction jobs. But beyond that, high-speed rail authority CEO Brian Kelly says the funding serves another important role. Candidly, it keeps us on schedule. <laughs> Specifically, he says, the $3 billion will allow the first phase of the project already under construction, a 171-mile route connecting Bakersfield and Merced, to stay on track for completion sometime between 2030 and 2033. It could not be done without this investment. It's huge. But critics point out the timeline for the larger part of the project connecting San Francisco to Anaheim does not have an estimated completion date. The High-Speed Rail Authority says that timeline depends on additional federal funding. But Republicans in the legislature have long expressed concerns, calling on Governor Gavin Newsom to cut spending for high-speed rail as the state faces a projected multi-billion dollar budget deficit. He's continued to waste billions and billions of dollars every year building a train to nowhere. Actually, it's not even a train to nowhere. It's just bridge pilings at this point in time to nowhere. Still, former Governor Jerry Brown, who made high-speed rail one of his administration's priorities, argues it will provide benefits for the state. This makes sense uh, from comfort from uh, new technology linking the one part of the state with the other and quite frankly catching up with the rest of the world uh, we hear that we're going to compete with china well china has 20,000 miles of high speed rail so we got to get going and all of this is separate from another three billion dollar investment the biden administration is granting a private company to build high speed rail between los angeles and las vegas reporting from the state capital Aton wallace 17 news